I'm Adesola. Um, I was born in Nigeria. Growing up, my mom um, had a shop that she owned and she managed. So basically, after school every day, she would um, drop us off there, where we would be in charge of attending to, I guess, customers and like selling stuff. The Retro Bag Canada started in 2019 as an online brand. It started first off just um, selling ads online and having people place their orders online. And then I started to sell them in person in markets around the city. Um, and then from there, I kind of get, get feedbacks from people and customers and what they're looking for. So this helps me to kind of know what to produce next. Um, and from there, I ended up scaling um, into opening the first brick and mortar store at um, Cadillac Fairview Masonville Place in London, Ontario. A day in my life, um, I usually wake up around 4 a.m. Um, and I start my morning devotion like around 4.20. Um, my goal with that really is to spend the first um, few hours of my day, really 10% of my day with God. Um, so I do that. So from 4.20 till about um, 6 a.m., <laughs> I spend time just talking to God and um, reading the word and then I kind of spend about an hour just in my own thoughts and meditating um, then I get ready to go to the gym I spend some time in the gym from 30 minutes to an hour come back home get dressed and head to the store where um, I'm usually at the store from about 9 30 a.m. till 9 30 p.m. While I'm here, I'm answering emails, I'm having Zoom calls, talking to my factories all around the world, talking to um, customers, my mentors. I'm doing that all while I'm at the store between 9.30 to 9.30 p.m. And then after that, I go home um, and I kind of unwind with a glass of wine, to be honest. <laughs> So I try to keep a positive perspective. I try to tell myself I can do everything. <laughs> so that's kind of what gives me the guts to do what I do, I guess. I graduated from undergrad with an honors degree in bachelor's um, of biochemistry and molecular biology. And then I went ahead to complete my medical degree. Um, I finished that a few years ago, so I am a medical doctor. Um, and then on completing medical school, you always have to do residency. So it was in that um, time frame that I was not able to secure a, a residency position. So in order to support myself, um, I first of all started to drive Uber um, and then I went ahead to start my business. So I do see myself um, practicing medicine as well as running this business um, with people that are equally as passionate about the Retro Back Canada as I am. Black History Month to me is um, a time where we get to um, really appreciate um, and acknowledge black culture and just the influence it has today um, in the society. Um, in the past, present, and the future, really. So we just get to kind of acknowledge and appreciate um, black culture in all fields and all areas, um, from entertainment to entrepreneurship to um, education um, to, you know, doctors and just people in different fields. So we just try to acknowledge them, um, both past and present um, icons. Futurepreneur really gave me a chance at my dream. And they took me right on and they gave me a yes when everyone else said no. And in turn, creating opportunities as well for other um, Canadians that would also want to be a part of the company in the future. Futurepreneur really is, um, I would say, a catalyst for young entrepreneurs that don't have the means to get the loans from big banks and big um, institutions. Thank you, Futurepreneur. Hey, it's me. Or come in here. This is our good shakin. Omo Yoruba ni mi. Monta bag. Ejo. Eba mi rabag. Check out my website. Check out my Instagram. Shoot me an email. Let's connect. Ewa support. Show me support. <laughs> You have to stop. When I said do this, you just stop right there.